A lot of vibrancy. If you know anything about the African continent, they do come out in numbers and they can really scream for their sides. So it's a Australia versus Zimbabwe preliminary stage game. It is the first game for both sides today as they open up their tournament for the 2023 Nepal World Cup. It's Watson touching the ball quite that a fair bit. And the moving center. circle of Wood and Conan for the Diamonds. Makes it quite dynamic in there and quite difficult for the defenders with a lot of head turning. Well, Australians then taking the lead earlier on with that. Contact Just over defense. 11 and a half minutes in this first quarter. And as impressive as Zimbabwe has been, it is Australia that is starting to find their rhythm on that front line. Oh, that's a good attempt there from Bruce. Good ball speed, triangles. That use of the swing ball from Hadley to Watson, opening up the goal is right underneath the post. Well, that, that pass coming from the oldest player from the Australian side, side on the wing defence position, Contact. Ash. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper. I mean, Be aware, how solid has she been for Australia? And I mean, what keeps her going and coming back, back to back, uh, you know, World Cups? Well, I, I don't know about this one, but this is a, she's announced her retirement after this. So I think she's pretty excited that, you know, she won't be donning a dress. I spoke to her the other day. She's like, I do not want to put on net, netball dress, Batty. After this tournament, I am done. I'm exhausted. She's got two beautiful little kids that will be coming over a little bit later in the week. So it's great to see her out there making her, obviously, World Cup debut as well, Ash Brazel. She's done a knee. Mampo. Contact goalkeeper I'm caught side now with Rapper Fadso, the head coach. Rapper Fadso, no changes after that quarter break. Are you pleased with what your team are doing? And then it's the pickups by the defence out the front. And a beautiful finish off by Steph Wood. And that can sometimes be the hardest thing when you're coming up against, obviously, number one in the world, the Diamonds. They move the ball with speed. They let it go. They, they go on the run. And you can get caught up in that. But that was really Got good patient play by the Zimbabwe team. Oh, much better. Much better indeed oh, from back, Makunde. Diamonds are back in the mix. And we do have some changes there. Sarah Clow comes on to goalkeeper. Joe Weston into the goal to fence to um, position. Jamie Lee Price into centre. And the goalie circle has also had a change. Kira Austin to goal attack. Sophie Garvin to goal shooter. So only two positions remaining the same. The two wings for the Diamonds. All Everyone else has come on from the bench. So hopefully spark some new injection in this third quarter. Strokes from goal defence. Let me, let's talk a little bit more about like what uh, Sophie offers, uh, you know, different to Kunin. What are the, some of the strengths that you are identifying and what they give you on court? Structure you're going to have to go defense. through all 12 of these players if you think you're going to be dethroning them in that ranking spot. But they didn't win the last championship, so they've got a lot to prove. A warning there. They obviously haven't put up the volume like the Diamonds, but when they have, they haven't as been as accurate, and that's what's really letting them down. Only having 29 attempts to the Diamonds, 66. So when you're getting the ball, you need to make sure you, it's counting on the scoreboard and you're converting it. Contact, both players. Advantage, goal, goal defence, goalkeeper. Um, and, you know, and be crowned Contact, a worthy goal, winner because goal, you've earned, earned the right to win it. But uh, would you have liked that cookie in your days, knowing that you had to grind it out so much to get to the final? I think Australia could put on a lot of different lineups and combinations. Ah, Sarah Cloud nearly comes out. Just a little bit too much on that pass. I think she put the fear of fear in the wing attack's mind, though. But did you see those sneakers from uh, Joyce? I mean, <laughs> those are pretty sleek. Well, There's that baseline drive, but a great pickup from the defensive pressure there of. Zimusi. But a lot of miscommunication between Zimusi and Mushore at the moment. It's just not flowing as well as it did for her on the defensive end. Great holding of space from Garbin. The Diamonds have not let off from start to the finish. Excellent performance from the entire team. An excellent performance indeed as they dominate the side of Zimbabwe. Really a 
dominating performance with the Zimbabwe starting quite strong in that first quarter. But uh, it's been a very tough milestone for them to have to cover with the goal percentages really not falling in their favor. But it is Australia that's going to be very impressed with the consistency that they've showed for the duration of the game. And this is how we end things off then. A 56 margin win for Australia over Zimbabwe as they dominate themselves and really show what they are here to do.